Good day, folks. How are you doing? Welcome back to Film Time for another dose of TLC's popular reality show, 90 Days Fiancé. So today, we're going to be talking about 10 super offensive couples on 90 Day Fiancé. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Ashley and Jay. Ashley and Jay are one of the most offensive couples on 90 Day Fiancé in the history of the show. The unbelievable pair met when Ashley went on a vacation at a resort for a friend's wedding, and the two hit it off pretty quickly. Ashley was 31 and Jay was 20 at the time. The two got married after a whirlwind romance and then their turmoil began. Jay repeatedly cheats on Ashley and Ashley was quite abusive towards Jay, always threatening to ensure the Jamaican born native is deported should he continue to act out of line. Ashley has filed for divorce multiple times from Jay but it seems like the third time's the charm as Jay has finally signed the divorce papers. George and Anfisa and Fisa earned her gold digger status while married to George. And we can't blame fans for deeming this couple as one of the most offensive couples on the show. The more Anfisa belittles George, the more George provides her with expensive gifts to make her happy. And Fisa had complained about their small apartment, once canceled a flight to see George, because George didn't buy a $10,000 handbag for her. Outrightly admitted she had considered George because she felt he could provide for her, but also accused George that he only considered her because she is beautiful. The list of offensive moments of Anfisa and George is endless. Nicole and Azan Nicole and Azan, like most couples on the show, met via an online dating app. After some time, Nicole decided to travel to visit the Moroccan-born native for five weeks. Despite the insistence of her parents and right from the moment the couple met, Azan made an offensive comment that Nicole was big, which was a code for lack of attraction to Nicole. Azan later restricts Nicole from being affectionate, with him citing religion. Though both couples are still together, albeit physically separate. Chantel and Pedro Chantel and Pedro have their own spin-off show now to telling the lives of the couples. As they navigate family drama, but it doesn't exempt them from this list. As both families of the couples are offensive in a way that borders on cynicism. Chantel had lied about how Pedro got into the country. Pedro's family had once served Chantel's family chicken feet. That the Chantel's family deemed highly offensive. And the list goes on. This is a family that would put the family drama of the Kardashians to shame. Elizabeth and Andre What makes Andre and Elizabeth to be on this list is the controlling and abusive nature of Andre, who wants Elizabeth to be a total submissive wife to him. Despite her family's warning about Andre, Elizabeth and Andre got married early when Elizabeth's father refused to financially support the couple because he doesn't trust Andre and doesn't like how he treats his daughter. Molly and Louis from protests from Molly's 17-year-old daughter to having Lewis move in, to Lewis' disinterest in becoming a stepfather to Molly's two kids, Molly and Lewis had a lot going against him. Watching Molly trying to get Lewis to be interested in her or their wedding plans was quite exhausting. But Lewis became even more cringe and offensive when he started questioning Molly's 17-year-old daughter about her sex life. We are not surprised Molly filed for divorce six months after. Colt and Larissa this list wouldn't be complete without the problematic duo, Colt and Larissa. Colt and Larissa had met via an online dating website, had decided to subject us to watching their offensive horror. That was their relationship. From Larissa's insecurity to Colt's high demands and controlling mother, Colt and Larissa never should have met. Colt and Caroline. It seems like Colt from 90 Day Fiance is mainly attracted to toxic and abusive women. Colt and Caroline came with enough baggage that was highly offensive and we still can't believe how we managed to survive watching Caroline be abusive towards Colt and watch Colt look scared but still with a smile on his face. Eric and Lida Eric and Lida from the start were deemed offensive by fans. The two had met on an international dating website and Lida's claims about coming from a very wealthy, affluent family are something many people are finding hard to believe, including Eric's family. The two have had claims of domestic abuse between them, although still married. Lida has a four-year restraining order against Eric's daughter. Mark and Nikki Apart from the offensive age gap between Mark and Nikki, the insensitive stance of Mark on his relationship with the teenager is enough to raise brows and also the fact that it feels like Mark was using this teenager girl to get over his first wife as the teenager bride had come to terms with having Mark's ex-wife's photo all over the house. Mark's ex-wife was also from the Philippines. Nikki also had Mark's 21-year-old daughter to deal with in the issue of whether the 21-year-old woman should call the teenager bride mom or not. The couple are still together. There you have it, guys. 10 super offensive couples on 90 Day Fiancé. 
Did you enjoy the video? Share your thoughts with others in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please do not hesitate to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. You can also turn on the notification bell to get notifications on our future posts on 90 Day Fiancé series. We hope to see you again. Adios.